Good morning. It's February 2nd. Sun poked out. It's been two weeks. These, uh, these here solar panels haven't done a whole lot in the last two weeks. You know, we've been, we still managed to probably get about 200, 250 watts through the clouds, but they're happy today. Um, batteries are filling up, and once you know it, even the, even the wind's blowing a little bit. So, that's cool. It's a great day. Um, so this is the setup. I got 12 panels. These are all 100 watt, uh, 12 volt panels. Um, I've got three sets of series. These four are series together for 48 volts. These four are series, and these four are series. And then they parallel and middle and run into the house on big heavy six gauge cable um, very happy with these panels very very happy with them They're, uh, let's see if we can new powers found them on Amazon they're 85 bucks a piece um, and I made this rack this last uh, summer um, and it's seen some wind it's bounced around a little bit but no uh, it's it's pretty stiff I got all these posts concreted in uh, four feet in the ground they're eight foot posts half of them are in the ground um, line them up on a string so they're straight as an arrow and then it's all on a, they're all pivoting, so I pull the screw out here and I can tip my rack up and down for summer sun, which the sun rides nice and high, but uh, in the winter, it, you know, uh, it's, it's February now, so the sun's getting a little higher in the sky, but December along you know, we're on winter solstice time. It just, just skates over the top of them trees. So, but we, uh, we still get plenty of power when the, when the sun comes out. So, but, uh, now let's go inside and see what they're doing. And here we are. So, this is the whole system. I've never really talked about this side. Um, let's see what the panels are doing. Mm, 1,020 watts. That's pretty awesome. Uh, for, you know, late morning. We're not even to high noon yet. Uh, this time of year, it's more like 12.30, 1 o'clock is high noon. So, we're making almost rated power pretty early yet. And that's filling up the batteries quick. You can see uh, we're running the dishwasher and the wash machine and fridges. Um, all kind of kicking on and off. That's the spin cycle. That's why it's pulsating like that. But battery voltage is staying high. Um, this is uh, an Apeaver MPPT solar charge controller um, it's great I love it it's a uh, the newer 60 amp out of their larger series um, it's got a generator start function uh, remote voltage sense so it's not just sensing off of the bus bars I've got the remote on nice thin thin sensitive wire right in the center of the battery bank and then it's also got a battery temperature sensor to make sure it's not overheating the batteries um, it's pretty great I very happy with you know the money spent and how well it works um, it handles the amps and it allows me to get what I need out of my panels so, uh, I'll show you what's really great about these MPPT controllers um, 
a lot of people don't understand. Um, the way I seriesed my panels, this is what my voltage ends up being, and I've actually seen it up to 90 volts, but that's what's coming in straight from the panels. 75 volts, 14 amps, and this is what the controller does. It brings that down to battery voltage, and it turns those volts into amps because watts are watts. Um, so instead of like where a PWM or a relay controller would just lose all these amps, this actually converts uh, the, the power so you get the wattage the panels are making. So, you know, you do the math on that, that times that, it's probably pretty close to a thousand, right? Um, whoops. Well, it's going to equate to about, that's going to equate to about 99% of that. Because uh, there's a little tiny bit of loss in processing, but all in all, they're great. And this is my inverter. It's a 3000, 6000 from Sinbo, found it on Amazon. Real clean power. Um, silent. I, I weld with this thing. I run everything. The, the dishwasher and the wash machine is running right now. The deep freezer and the fridge is running. Um, and it never really even warms up. You know, I've never gotten a fan to kick on. I weld, you know, but I also went heavy duty with my wire. Um, I got eight gauge going to the house panel wired directly to the main fuse box where um, I also physically disconnected us from our meter so there's no way I can back feed into the grid um, so um, and then got a main cut off Right here, I'm not going to flip the switch because everything's running. And for my 12 volt loads, I've got various, I've got a 12 volt uh, ceiling fan and battery chargers and some 12 volt lights in the house. This is just a, a step down converter, 24 volt uh, to 12 volt. And I don't need a lot of power for my 12 volt, but it just saves me a few watts, you know. We're on stored power, so you save your watts where you can. But, yeah, that's the system. And we can see already, well, that's our accumulated power for the day. So far, three kilowatt hours. On a sunny day, with uh, low batteries, I'll usually harvest five to six uh, kilowatts a day. And see now we're already stepping down our wattage because batteries are almost full. We're at 29.6 volts. That's full. Um, so it'll it'll hold us there. Uh, it is set to hold at maximum voltage for 120 minutes, and then it'll go down to float. It'll go down to 27.6, and it'll hold that for as long as it has enough light to do so. Um, and it ends up giving. The battery is just a really thorough charge. Um, it does it does better than the generator or the turbines can do. And you saw it was spinning earlier. Yeah, that doesn't mean much. It's got to be moving to make some power. So, thankfully, we got the sun. Well, anyways, enjoy the rest of your Sunday. And that's my solar system. Take care.